That's right. <laughs> New merch is now available. But let's get into this Brian McKnight situation. So Brian McKnight, it has changed his name to match his rightfully heir to the Brian McKnight situation. But he had to change his name well, now his son, his first Brian McKnight Jr., is responding to the chain, the name change that his biological father just announced. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So it's been a while since we talked about the Brian McKnight family drama. We covered so many different videos about this Brian McKnight saga and some of these really weird things that he has done in regards to his children and why he doesn't have a good relationship with his children. So if you miss any of our videos, I'm not going to rehash all of everything that that went out, went on in regards to that. I just want to update you on the current situation that I did not expect. So sidebar, before we get into this story, Literally, as I'm going through my TikTok and seeing the comments, I see a lot of you reacting to some of the old videos on TikTok that I just did on Brian McKnight. And then I saw this story and I was like, oh, so that's why people are engaging with the Brian McKnight story. It's because this new Brian McKnight situation has come to, to light. So bring, Brian McKnight started this himself. He could have avoided this completely and just announced, I have a new album. So he has this new album and, he, and the cover of the new project is his son, his recent son that he had with his new wife, all right? And he calls it, I guess it's lullabies? Yeah, it's lullabies. He says, an album for my son. But here's the thing. He captions this, this post by saying, so proud to introduce our son, Brian Kanoa Makoa Jr. He says, to the world with the release of my new album, lovely created for him. He says, Junior, because I am also proud to officially announce that I have legally changed my name to exactly match my legacies. Hell no. So he changed his own name to match this one because, you know, the last time we reported on the situation, we reported to you that Brian McKnight, this is the true heir to my legacy. This is Brian McKnight Jr. But he already has a Brian McKnight Jr. All right, girl. There have been so many different issues between Brian McKnight and his children, even a lawsuit that he later settled with his daughter. He addressed that recently because he was like, there's all this misinformation about this settlement. In 2020, my biological daughter, Brianna, sued me for defamation and breach of contract. I posted a page from the lawsuit here and the file number down below so you can look this up for yourself. And you will see that she did not ask for an apology or even ask that I remove the alleged false statement from the internet. All she asked for and all she wanted was money. The case was dismissed before there was any decision whether my statement about her was defamatory. We settled the case earlier this year and I agreed to pay Brianna some money, but here's the interesting part. She sued me for defamation and breach of a million dollar life insurance policy. And I agreed to pay her $318,000 with no admission of any wrongdoing whatsoever. You heard that right. She dismissed a million dollar case in exchange for payment of $318,000 with no admission that I did anything wrong and no requirement that I retract my statement or remove it from the internet. If someone said that I did something I didn't do and I want a case proving that I didn't, I demand a public apology. I demand an acknowledgement of wrongdoing and I demand a retraction of statements. The base value of that life insurance policy was $300,000 with $18,000 worth of interest. I did not defame her. I made no false statements. I made up no stories. You can do what you will with that information in deciding who you think won the case. But by the end of the video, you're like, well, sir, you didn't prove anything. You didn't prove that you did not defame her. You settled the lawsuit. He then says, my legal name is Brian Kanoa Makoa Mc McKnight Sr. Don't be rude. Don't I'm sorry, what? He says, McKnight time lullabies the songs of a father to his namesake available now. Here's the thing with Brian McKnight. I think probably people would not have a problem 
even with this pose, if it didn't feel like he wasn't constantly taking jabs at his biological children with with other women. Because it feels like in the, in this post, namesake, my legacy, and, and things like that are just jabs, are just gaslighting mechanisms for him to sort of just take, take a little shot at his children. And I understand, look, not all family gets along. You're, it's very complex. But you also don't, especially when you have a, the platform that you do in comparison to their platform, to make these jabs at them unnecessarily, unwarranted, especially because you don't have a relationship with them anymore. So why are you making these unwarranted attacks on your children that you also brought into this world or helped to bring them into this world? Well, Brian McKnight Jr., the original, OG Brian McKnight Jr., says this in response to people. So a person says, I feel so bad, and if I was Brian McKnight Jr., I'd change my effing name. What a corny old-ass man shaking my effing head. I'd be so upset to at all be attached. So Brian McKnight Jr. responds and says, I'm not ashamed of the name my ancestors had. I will never change the name my own son now has. Because he also has a Brian McKnight III, I believe. He says, we are witnessing an obscene level of self-hate that has reached mental illness status at this point. He says, all we can do is pray for that man and my new little brother, who we will all welcome with open arms one day. He says, once he realizes who his real family is. Legacy isn't in the name. It's in the character of the people. Well, ain't that a word? He says, it will all be quite clear soon just who's on the right side of all this because there's no escaping what's coming. What's he mean? Or he could just be saying the truth. And look, we also said that the children may not have been perfect. They may have relied on Brian McKnight Sr. too much. Who knows? But based on what we've seen in regards to Brian McKnight's behavior on social media and videos that he's posted trying to explain his side... It has not explained his side. It's made us look at Bryant McKnight even more with a side eye. Like, sir, you keep taking these little jabs at your children that had no choice to come into this world. You helped bring them into this world. And they're not perfect. And I'm not saying that they are, are completely innocent of your interactions with them. But every time that he's tried to explain his side, we come back with like, sir, that doesn't make any sense. You just made this even worse. And now this post where he's talking about namesake and my legacy and I, I, I've changed my name in, in order to reflect. I think he really believes that this will make what the whole drama behind the name situation with the junior already situation. I think he really in his mind believes that this will change the narrative the same way he released that that settlement video in regards to his daughter. I think he really honestly believe I got gotcha. you. I'm going to. You guys are going to love this one. And then we're all like, Brian, no, it's worse. It's worse. And we're not, we would like to exit the group chat. Stop posting these things on social media. And I do agree with Brian McKnight Jr., the original, that one day the same son that is a baby and has not disappointed you, and who knows one day you might disown him, will be able to see the truth, hopefully. And I see a lot of your comments in regards to this post in regards to his wife. Look, on some level, she should kind of take a look at this and be like, this could be my future. Like, this is not the best. And we also understand that we don't know the full story or, or on either side of the situation. But like I was just talking about the whole Khloe, Khloe Kardashian situation with Tristan Thompson and him not being involved in his other baby's lives. On some level, I feel like his wife should be like, yeah, let's not even post that. And I'm not saying that she needs to defend or tell him to be more involved with his children, because for all we know, she could be doing that. However, these types of posts on social media, I'm like, yeah, Brian, let's just not. Let's just not even do that. We know how you feel about our son, point blank period. We don't need to tell it to the world. You can just announce this project and that and that will be that. But he felt the need to, to make these sort of like digs at his other kids in this post, his namesake, his legacy. We get it. You have a whole new family and you would like for the world to accept this whole new family. We don't care. <laughs> On some level, we don't care. 
If anything, we would just much rather you put out music. But at this point, people don't want to even listen to your music because they feel like it's inauthentic. It's not genuine. You're, these love songs, we don't want to hear from you. And I definitely don't want to play lullabies from Brian McKnight to my child. Because whatever's going on with Brian McKnight, I don't want that seeping into my child. I don't have a child. But you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Are you going to listen to this project? What do you think? Guys, as always, let's continue this conversation in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. You bring the lighter, I got the fuse. You make a fire, I'll ask you, follow me.